Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title of the video, we're about to get into some hair wax paint fun. I'll leave the link down below, of course, where you can purchase. Today we have a few colors. We have orange, silver, we have this blue which looks purple, we have red, we have purple, and we have green. So, for today's look, we're going to use the orange. So this is what the container looks like. It says Mafajong. I guess that's how you pronounce it orange color take the top off of course there's another seal pulling the seal off i have to smell it it smells very waxy and that vibrant orange is so pretty i cannot wait So you can apply the wax on either wet or dry hair, it doesn't matter, but for me, I find better coverage, especially with my locks when I apply it to damp hair. So that's what I'm doing now, just spraying my hair down a little. Oops, almost forgot about my ring, have to take that off so that it doesn't stain. Now I'm just gonna go in and section my hair, and maybe like three sections. I notice when I section my hair, it's even easier for me to apply the product, especially evenly throughout my head. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do now. So when applying the product, I like to start small and then go big. Sometimes a little product goes a long way, but as you apply, you'll notice if you need to start using more product or less of the product. That's another reason too that I like to apply when my hair is damp, semi-dry, because when you apply the product on wet hair, I noticed that you that you use more product. So I prefer dry hair or either damp hair. I also like to apply my product on the ends first and then work my way up to the roots. I don't know why, but for me that's just easier and to me that gives me better coverage. And like I said, it's best to work section by section so that you can get the best coverage. And what I love about the hair wax paint is that there are multiple colors that you can try. And if I was to ever want to dye my hair one day, I won't have to dye my hair and then decide I don't like this color or this color isn't for me. I already got the dye the hair wax paint so I can already experiment and know what color I want and I say all that to say this color right here on me y'all was bomb wait till y'all see the finished result and I'm really 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 thinking about dyeing my hair permanently this color So as you can see here, I'm pulling out each lock one by one and just making sure that each lock has ample enough product because like I said, I'm trying to get the best coverage possible. So yeah, we got to make sure these locks are saturated. A question a lot of people have asked me is how long does the hair wax paint stay in my hair? If with my locks, it stayed at least a good week and a half it was going on two weeks and the only reason it started coming out even then was because i went swimming so of course once i went swimming the hair paint started falling out but it was still some left in my hair like i still had to wash my hair in order to get all of the paint out but when i was natural and i used to use this on my natural hair it would start fading within like two days within like a week it was gone completely out of my hair so i can say from my experience with my locks the hair wax paint does last much longer, at least about a week and a half. Another question I get, a lot of people say that when they apply their hair wax paint that it, they don't get full coverage on their locks. So I've, I've already covered this, but I'm gonna say it again. The best way to get full coverage on your locks is to apply small, in very small sections take your time 
and may, you may just need to use more product than you normally would but for me small sections and basically applying it lock by lock helps me get the best coverage And even if you're trying to use the wax paint and you don't have locks, just on natural hair, the best way to get full coverage is to apply the paint, like I say, small sections as well. And I would say take a comb and comb through. To me, that'll help get, that's what helped me get the best coverage when I was just a natural wearing the hair wax paint. Applying in the very small sections and taking a small tooth comb and combing it through. Also, with my natural hair, it was easier for me to apply on wet hair. Like, after I wash my hair, condition it, I would just go ahead and apply the paint. And like I said, for me, that helped with coverage and it also helped with the ease of just applying the product. Another question I get to is how to remove the wax paint. Simple is you just remove it with water. Um, water will get majority of the product out, but depends on your hair texture, your hair type, you may have to shampoo it, but it, it's not hard to get out at all. Like I said, just water and shampoo, just like a regular wash. But some people wash their hair twice and it comes out, but you may need a good three washes just to make sure all of the product comes out. And like I said, that depends on your hair texture because if you got thick hair, then yes, you're gonna need a good maybe three washes before the product is out, maybe even four. So at this point, we're basically almost to the finish line. And I think at this point too, I was starting to actually start feeling myself. I felt like it was gonna be cute, but you know how you gotta thug everything out into the end just to be sure, just to be on the safe side. So we're just gonna wait till we get to the end to see how everything looks. And where there's extra product like around your hairline, you see it right there around my hairline, all you have to do is take like a, a Q-tip or either a cotton swab, just add a little bit of alcohol and just wipe around your hairline and the product will come right up. Like I said, you can even just use water. So at this point we basically finished, but I'm just going through applying the product to the ends of my hair just to make sure everything has full coverage. Look at that little smirk, y'all. Your girl thinks she cute. She thinks she cute. Look at her. And yes, yeah, solid extra powder right there. I'm gonna have to go clean that up, y'all. But I'm gonna go clean that up, and I will be right back. But wait, y'all gotta see the back first. I could have applied more product, but I didn't have a mirror like I should have used. So yeah, I definitely could have applied more product to my roots, but it still looks bomb. Okay, Scusa girl. Look at Scusa, y'all. The little ginger head. Okay, Scusa. So yes, this is the final look. I hope y'all enjoyed watching, and I will see y'all in the next video.